All right, what is up, guys? Uh, it's 1.30 in the afternoon, getting a really late start here today. Uh, I just left my eye doctor. I had to get a checkup or a something. I don't know. I had to check my eyes. Anyways, heading to Lake Williams today. Haven't been there since January, which was like eight months ago, nine months ago. Check you guys out later. Just got to the lake, or just got the boat in actually. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it from the camera, but it's like a foot, maybe two foot visibility. So what I'm going to be using today, starting out with, is this crankbait right here. It's a sexy shag color with chartreuse in it. Probably end up switching off to throwing a chartreuse with a black back. See how things go, and then. I'm thinking because it's so low right now, fish are going to be tight to cover, or so low and so dirty right now, fish are going to be really tight to cover, so I got this jig right here, probably going to be using that most of today. camera off so you guys didn't see any of it but uh, I was just buzzing up this shoreline threw my bladed jig my chatter bait up in there tight to, to the shore up in some brush and stuff now I'm bouncing it back swimming it back to the boat and then out probably 20 feet off the shore out in like open water sorta there's a log across the bottom I can't see it but I felt it felt my line go over it and my chatter bait got stuck on one of the branches but it didn't get hooked it just like slid up it and hit the top so I let it go back down and I'm just kind of like pulling it, bouncing into it. I'm slowly taking my boat over to so I can flip it off the other side. And this giant bass just crushed it. I mean like my rod bent in half. Um, turned the camera on. Got in close. Got in close to him. And he came up and kind of curled around on the surface. And it was like, it was a good four pounder. Easy. It was a big one. And then it wrapped up in this brush pile right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. And it's about 10, 12 foot of water right there. And I'm trying to like reach down in there to feel it, to grab it. And it came on hook. guys there we go little guy about a pound pound and a half maybe first one actually in the boat it's about my third one fourth one hooked uh, same technique as earlier just kind of yo-yoing it up and down on the branches but uh at least it's a fish in the boat finally all right get on back there Oh. 
You know, here on Team Ripping Lips, we like to get for the quick release. It's best for the fish. You know, you don't want to keep them out of the water for too long. They can't hold their breath all day. So, you know, in the fish's best interest, you know, don't even touch them. Just flip them in, show the camera, back out the other end. I mean, that's that's how you do it. That's, 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 I actually tried that, believe it or not. But, you know. All right, so I don't know if you guys heard that loud lightning strike there or not. Uh, holy crap. Wait for it. Okay, I'm on. Okay, so I got like, you know, 10 miles till destruction. I'm gonna get some cool, don't know if you just saw it. I don't know if you saw it, but I'm pretty sure you probably just heard that. That was nuts. It was like lightning and then thundered instantly. So, it's like upon us. I'm in like the eye of the storm or something. I don't know if you heard that. But, anyways, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know if I'm going to make it out or not. Um, if you're watching this, chances are I made it out. Oh, broken!